the one this life under the bits and bubble, under the very nice pictures, under the photos, under the free gifts, under the whole bazaars. Very few rough crashes.
who will help them in giving them more exposure for their product. Yeah, I think that's the best way I can explain it. Then we have underpayment. God. 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 <laughs> I had this encounter at Dopenty where this very big brand, I'm not mentioning the name because that's messy. This brand, they texted me and they were like, we want to pay you 75 a month for posting on your story weekly. Actually, posting twice on your story weekly, giving them a post few times a week just for 75 and I was like the woman was too stunned to speak how like I'm going to like sit down here and like excuse my weights but like I'm just giving that's the example like just imagine if somebody with 50k followers is being paid 100k for that sort of thing, example, I don't know, example, and somebody with 10k is being paid 75 for the same thing by a very very big brand. Like this brand had more than 100k followers, a Nigerian brand. So it was when when that person said that kind of thing to me, I was like, why are you looking? Why would you say that? I don't know if it's because of how young I was. But that's another thing. They look in Nigeria. They look down on you for your age. At the time I was 15, they believed that, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, she's a little girl, 75, you will do, you will cut it for her. And I'm like, excuse you, e -e excuse you, <gasps> I was bamboozled up to the castle. Because I was like, what the actual hell, what, why would you just, when you tell them your rates for a particular thing that they ask you to do and they come and tell you that your prices are too high. First of all, as an international content creator, you know your worth. You know how much time, money puts into your work, your equipment, everything in general. But somebody will come and tell you that your price is too high. And they will insult you. Oh, they will insult you on top of it. Like, I didn't get it. It didn't, it didn't make sense. Like, why? And in Nigeria, what I've experienced, they look down on you and you're following. Like abroad now, those with 10k followers that have the highest engagement are supposed to be paid higher. Like, it's not about the followers you have, it's about the engagement on your page. You can have 50k followers and you have been 500 likes on your post. You all see the funny business there. I don't know if you get what I'm coming from. You see the funny business there. Brands look at the following more than the engagements on each of your posts. I'm like, how do you, as black people, we're already being underpaid in this earth, then to not still be underpaid by brands in your own country is just beyond me. You look at me from head to toe and tell me what my value is. Okay, now you're trying to price me down. I think that's what I can explain it. You're to price me down to something I am not, which is very disrespectful, very wrong in every way possible. Another thing than playing small content creators. I just need to explain that. I know how I struggle to get brands to work with me and to even see me for a long time because they saw my followers. In Nigeria, let's be honest here, in Nigeria, if you have from 10k to 40k, you are seen as a small content creator and let's, let's be serious like from the audience point of view you're not really small but to the brands you are small because they're looking at your following if you don't have 400k followers they're not going to give you that much of money that's why I expect brands abroad because they're not looking at your following they're looking at if I give you my products how are I going to sell it how are people going to am I able to receive feedback from what you're going to do. That's where I'm coming from at this point in time. Another thing I've experienced is brands wanting free advertising because they are big. I've also experienced this too. God. Oh God. <laughs> like it's one thing if you genuinely want to work with that company because you want exposure. But in the sense where they are forcing you, they are insulting you because you don't want to advertise their products freely for them because they are a big brand. No, 
for insult upon insult. <laughs> and as long as they don't want to give you gifts or give you their products to do work, blah blah blah, they will tell you to your face. They will tell you to your face. You want to post our stuff on your story, do this, do this, do and leave it like that. And I'm like, what? And I'll ask you, want me to do your stuff for free? And they'll be like, why not? You are, of course, we're a reputable brand. So and I'm like, my negro, that is positively outrageous. One time, one man said, I don't know what you are missing. And I'm like, in the name of God. <laughs> ah, what my eye have seen. I said, God, is it me? Is it me that says kind of thing to? And that's another thing, brands insulting influencers for their rates. For literally anything, if they decline their offer, like they won't pay influencers, but they'll give them free gifts. Sure, you are giving me a free gift. I'm not going to decline giving me a gift from your brand. But you're not going to force me to post a video using your product if you haven't paid me. We are receiving insults. We are receiving underpayments. And in this time where Nigeria is so hard on us, where there isn't enough money, where there isn't stable income for many people, and we ourselves, we need to feed, we need to help those around us and to be underpaid for you to price me down and another thing you could put so much time money literally anything everything into yourself and receive the needless output especially in this time when dollar is leaving the chat when dollar is going to heaven and it's literally just like you put all your energy to something and you get something less for what you're doing. It can, it can pain the soul. It can hurt the inside of me. Do you get where I come from? Another thing, a brand will hit you up saying they want you in their campaign, they want you to promote this for them. Everything is good and fine. You reply them, you know, to, and to take them months to reply back. Or they'll ask, they'll ask for your race card and you send, them, you send the card to them. They'll not take months or they'll not reply at all. And I'm like, if you don't want to work with me, say so. Or you come and tell me, or you come and DM me saying you want to do this with me. And you tell me that next week you're going to pay me a particular sum of money to do this for you. And it's a month, they're not doing anything. I'm literally hitting you up like, hey, do you, am I, are we still going to work together? Are we going to? Nothing. No, you're wasting my time because I am pushing other brands out for you, believing that you're going to do what you say, what you're going to do, which is wrong. Like, I had this thing with the hair company. Obviously, I will mention their name. She texted me and she was like, she wants to give me grades for my hair. Okay, I was like, okay, let me move my hair and let's see how this goes. For two months, she didn't get back to me. She had a friend of mine, the person that was working with the brand. She had somebody that's close to me, so she was telling me that the hair will come in March. March came to the left, to the top. In the middle of March, she said. Next thing, she said that the brand has, hasn't sent any hair to Abuja, and they've only sent in Lagos. And I'm like, I spent two months waiting for you to send me something, waiting for a response. You know, after I've done my hair since, after I've done this hair since, you should be sent. But I literally waited thinking that this brand would not waste my time because they look serious. I think that's all for brands. So like in summary for brands, I'll say the underpayments, looking down on content creators, small content creators, Wanting influencers and content creators to reduce their prices in order for you to work with them. I'm like, it's one thing to negotiate with a brand, but you're making me go from five to one, all because of you, when I'm the one that's supposed to help you. Like, this is where I'm coming from. And the fact that some brands don't know how to work with influencers, they don't, they don't study marketing, they don't study influencing. Let us say that. It's just giving wrong. And sad thing is, God will explain me. <laughs> yeah, when I was young, I didn't really know much about it. So I allowed myself to receive free gifts. But then when I finally realized my worth and what I was doing, 
I started paying, I started charging more for myself and people started vexing, people started getting angry, rant, look at me and say you are too much, you, like your price is too much, reduce it, you know nobody will come for you if you are okay, if you cannot work with me, you can go, it's not a problem, it is not a problem, it's a problem, okay, let's go to the second segment of the video, the audience. I've received DMs from people saying, "Stop acting like you're a fine girl. Stop acting like as if you are, as if you have project here for not belong to. Stop acting like you're a bad girl. Stop acting like you are the moment." And I'm like, "That's the most sadistic thing I've ever heard in my life." What do you mean? If I'm a bad girl, say, "Is it a problem?" Then no, wait. Let's think about it. Let's let's analyze it. If I'm overly confident, that shouldn't be a problem to do. If they're being too confident for you, that means you have the problem. And I'm dealing with some comments every single day, and I'm like, why? I don't think about the audience dealing with negative comments. I have received the worst comments. Like, we're thin, we're too tiny, go back to school. When I was still in school, and I was still managing with my influencing thing, some people DM me and said, you know you're a very ugly thing, person, this, 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 that you go back to school, leave this and focus on it. And I'm like, first of all, I don't want to do negative thoughts. You don't want to So, how do you do negative thoughts? I don't. Before, what I do is, I like your comments and I go. If you, if it's my idea, if it's like that kind of thing, I'll open the chat, like it and leave. This is that what you want. Recently, I was told that, I said decent comment. If I see a bad comment, I don't think it. I mean, I will not give you the light on day because of what you want. I will definitely not give that to you. Come and insult me. I'll be, I'll see more of my best one and told my parents. I'm like the mind. And most of these people, when they, when they see you in real life, they will act like you're the but they are the ones who have those fake accounts that see you saying blah 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 blah. And I'm like, bro, sis. Girl, why? Why? Then from the audience, you don't want to prove your self-esteem. Like, I've been thin all my life. Okay, not all my life, like when I was five, I was quite chubby. But <laughs> people would say, you're thin. Like, I'm not repeating this, but... And I would look at them, I mean... I can't even... When I used to go I used to laugh. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. No, my mom always tells me that if you... If you don't receive hate comment from people, then you are not belong. You have not switched that side. And as sad as it sounds, but that's the truth. I don't know how to explain it, but that's the honest truth. That's how I have learned it. And people have tried to pull me down in every single way possible. When I was still in secondary school, people, when they realized I was like influencer, they will have this perception of me that I am dumb. They believe I'm not smart in class. If I show you my like results, you go back. What I say, you go back. Some of them believe that, oh, you're in front of Oh, how you come in the screen was the feeling, right? You mean? I mean, literally, people in my class were like, how are you even managing social media and school at the same time? I don't know how I was doing it, but I was doing it. It was God Almighty. Because. I didn't know how I was doing it. It was such a hard experience to avoid. I went, I got through it, and I was still getting it once I entered the university. But, anyways, that's, that's, I don't know why I entered that topic, but let's come back. Let's go back into the main thing. I tried to reduce myself as to the point where they think they have done something. And genuinely, I laugh. First of all, let's think about it. You took your time to carry your phone, type. What's your head out That means you care about me. <laughs> I cut out your love because why? 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 Okay. I think I have elaborated enough. I think, but like from the onset, I love being an influencer. I love being. I love for that that I can influence people's choices. I can influence what people do. Like it's so cool. And 
having this kind of platform where you can share your ideas, share your opinions, just have a particular order that cares about you. And to be honest, everyone that has supported me from day one, you all for real, period. Yeah, you all for real, period. It has been a very nice experience. It has taught me a lot. It has taught me patience. It has taught me that I really need when I'm growing up. That's what this whole three years of my life has taught me. And I'm grateful for it and I'm going to continue doing what I am doing. And I cannot end this video without giving a shout out to your favorite influencers. I like I am Fisayo. She's cool. Very cool, very funny. I like um Stephanie Mocha. That girl's style is on a different level. Like I don't know what my head my um head is quite clogged right now. But I like spraying chubby. I don't know why I can't remember <laughs> your names right now, but your faces are stuck in my head. But I can't remember that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well because I'm moving to fashion right now, so my name in France right now is French of me. She's cute. Period. I think if I remember I'll put them in the description box below but okay. If you reach the end of this video and if you've learned something and in the influencing industry there's a lot that isn't really talked about. There isn't much friendliness. Like some people have asked why haven't I collaborated with other people? I don't know, maybe I'm afraid that they're just going to treat me somehow. I don't have to explain it. I just feel like they're going to treat me somehow. <laughs> like there's so much that hasn't been that we talk about the influencer industry between people and it's just a lot. I can go on and on. Know that it, it isn't just know it's not all rainbows. There are things that aren't talked about. Knowing that everything we say will be held against you. I think that's one thing. I mean it's fun. It's fun getting gifts and everything. There's a lot. Most people suffer from depression just by being a content creator and influencing people. I genuinely enjoy it and I don't think anything has really knocked me down to my zero point yet. And even when that day comes, my God goes through my knee. Period. That's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Period. Bye!